This is the Thales Model A with the casing removed. It's a pinwheel machine and it's about as bare bones a mechanism as you can get. It does not have any of the safety features that later models have. The uh, carriage I've uh, removed the stop at the end so you can take this out completely and yeah it has a number at the bottom the last two digits of the serial number and the movement of the carriage simply has this lever that uh, grabs hold in one of these slots these digits uh, are connected to these intermediate gears here you have these uh, small switches in between these um, can flip out or in and each uh, digit wheel has a small uh, notch on the small tab on the left hand side so that when the digit goes from 9 to 0 it pushes out the switch. The same goes if it goes from 0 to 9 when you're subtracting. Uh, the, the counter mechanism here, it does not have a carrying mechanism. It simply counts, uh, counts upwards in white digits or downwards in uh, red digits, counting the subtractions. It has a, has a bell here, or it should have a bell here. This is the clapper. And yeah, if uh, the, the, this leftmost digit of the main register, it does not have a carry switch. Instead, it pushes this, uh, this bit that uh, moves the lever, the, the clock lever. So that's the carriage. The clearing mechanism is done with this, uh, this uh, wing nut. So uh, you have to turn it a full revolution so that it brings all the numbers to zero. The main pinwheel block that uh, is very simple too. It also has the number 34 stamped on it here. Uh, the, uh, there are no safety mechanisms as I said. So when it's moving it doesn't even uh, block the inputs from uh, changing. Um, yeah, so it has uh, two sets of uh, small pins, movable pins for the carry mechanism. This one is used during subtraction. Here are the pins for the uh, actual input and here are the pins used in uh, the carry mechanism for addition. So when you uh, turn the crank clockwise, first the uh, subtraction uh, carries uh, past the register and they don't do anything at this point. Then you get the addition of the, uh, of the input numbers and then the uh, carry mechanism is, uh, carries are executed for the addition. Subtraction is of course uh, exactly the same only in the opposite direction. In that case first you get the addition carries that are past the register and uh, don't do anything at that point. Then you get the uh, digits being added and then you get the actual uh, carry being performed uh, afterwards. You need those two separate uh, rows for the uh, carries because the carries have to be performed from right to left because you can have a, a digit that changes uh, from uh, 9 to 0 causing a carry and that in turn can cause the next digit to be 
to, to carry over as well if that happened to be a 9 and it rolls over to 0. So you need to do those carries in order from right to left. So when you're turning this, uh, this drum clockwise, uh, turning the crank clockwise, this, this, yeah, the direction of these pins has to uh, match whether you're doing, uh, have to go from right to left, whether you're doing addition or subtraction. The uh, input pins, if you move those, you see that these uh, uh, pins pop out. So now all nine uh, pins are out so that when you turn all nine pins move this uh, intermediate wheel which in turn moves this uh, digit wheel uh, nine steps forward. You can also see that it uh, pushes out the carry uh, switch and then this pin from the, the carry mechanism gets deflected to the left by that switch and pushes the next digit forward one. The carry pin gets uh, moved back automatically because this uh, gap in, this, in the drum uh, ends. So here the switch is being pushed out but as soon as this gap here ends, this, uh, this pushes the pin back in, or the, the switch back in. One more because next time you'll see a double carry, carry going through two uh, digits. Because here the first carry is performed and now that pushes the next carry switch out. So there you go. That's the very basics of the, uh, the register and the uh, pinwheel mechanism. On this side, you see uh, there's, there's this arm that pushes, uh, uh, yeah, pushes this uh, uh, counter revolution, uh, revolution counter uh, one forward. The only safety mechanism that this uh, machine has is is here, which is a, a small latch that uh, ensures that you have to complete a revolution of the crank and can't uh, reverse direction halfway through. So when you turn it forward and then try and move it back, this uh, catch uh, stops you from doing this. It's only in the rest position where you have this uh, gap here in the, in the wheel where this, uh, this latch can uh, change direction. So if you now go the other way, there's enough room in that gap to uh, allow the switch to go the other direction. And again, now you can't go forwards. You have to complete the revolution, the subtraction. So that, uh, this uh, switch on the outside, it shows you essentially which direction you've uh, turned the crank. It shows you if you're going, if you're doing addition or subtraction. It also allows you to release the latch if it's for some reason the whole mechanism locks up. So that if, if, if you have to reverse the crank, you can do it by just pushing uh, this, this uh, knob and then uh, moving the crank back. But of course, uh, that's not the way to do a normal uh, uh, calculation. So that's the uh, mechanism of the Thales uh, Model A, a bare bones pinwheel mechanism. Thank you for watching.